Hello and welcome to this Active Inspire tutorial video hosted by Adam Pearce of Strawberry7. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to access and download Active Inspire at home, how to install it on your machine, and then how to launch it for the first time. So to begin with, make sure that you're on a computer which is connected to the internet and open a browser. In this case, I'm going to use Google Chrome. From your browser, search for Active Inspire. Please note that Active Inspire is spelt without an E. We want to download Active Inspire here. And then we select a series of options. We want English British in this case. We're going to be installing this on a Microsoft Windows machine. And then we just enter our details here. Once you've entered your details, tick here if you wish to be contacted by Promethean and ensure that you always tick here that you've read the terms and conditions. Click Submit. And your download will begin. On Chrome, the download will appear here. When the download is finished, you can click here or if you want to go to where the download is being stored, click the little arrow and then click show in folder. Our download is finished now. We can see that there's no longer a progress bar and the download is ready. Click on the download and that will open the Active Inspire installer. Say yes to a security prompt if prompted to do so. Now click next, 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 accept the license agreement, click next, next, and install. This will now install Active Inspire onto your machine. It should also place a desktop shortcut icon for the installed product. That took some time about two and a half minutes on my computer. So just be patient, it might take longer on your machine. Once the download is finished, the install is finished, click finish. You can now close this window and you'll see there is an icon here on the desktop for Active Inspire. Now that we have Active Inspire installed, we'll double click the desktop icon to run it for the first time. It asks for some information here. Just enter this information according to your information. And it will ask for an activation key. Now, it isn't strictly necessary to enter an activation key. You can click I accept the terms of this license and click run personal edition. Personal edition has most of the features of Active Inspire and will certainly be suitable for planning at home or running in most environments. If you do want to install the full edition, then that's fine. If you're one of our customers, if your school is supported by us, then please email support at strawberry7.com and request an activation key. If your school is not supported by us, then please speak to your IT department who should be able to provide this information. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to run the personal edition. We'll now be asked which version of Active Inspire we'd like. Please select Active Inspire, Active Primary, if you are a primary school teacher, or Active Studio if you're a secondary school teacher. You can run Active Studio if you're a primary school teacher. Some primary school teachers prefer this. However, Active Primary does have more of a primary school look and feel and is more tailored to primary school lessons. Once you've selected Active Primary, click Continue.
we now have Active Inspire. Finally, as always, thank you for watching. That concludes this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for more videos you'd like to see, let us know. If you liked this video, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to our channel for all the latest updates.